Yo guys, a little while later. So, same night by the way. Car's dumped. <laughs> um, sorry again about the cracked screen. I have some replacement screen somewhere. I'll, I'll swap it out here soon. Yeah, car's dumped as hell. So what I'm working on right now is I just took out the hood locking springs. Just took them out both and took the hood cable out up to right about here. I'm just going to leave this dangling because I'm putting in hood pins. Now, you might be asking, why am I putting in hood pins? Here is why. I bought a full, uh, I bought the full hood latch kit on eBay for 30, 40 something bucks, something like that. That's what I can afford. I can't afford to get the BMW OEM stuff, because then I'd be looking at like probably what, like 150 for freaking hood latch. No, actually no, it's more than that probably. For just hood latch stuff so I, I went the cheap route and what I found out is they do not measure they shit correctly because they made the cable too long and because of this I don't even know how but because of this it's just there was all this slack in it and it just never really worked very well and when it did work it was like barely I had to lift up here and lift up over there just to pull it up and that might be because of these but I think these are pretty strong I think it's just because of those weren't releasing all the way they weren't releasing enough so I, that I could get it out that it would just pop up by itself it was like still maybe caught on this or something like that so I had to like, like yank it up but anyway so yeah I got I'm getting rid of it and putting in hood pins I know they're cringy I don't even like hood pins <laughs> I'll be honest with you as an ergonomic solution, it's the best one, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, I can just shut the hood with the stock latch still like in there, the regular latch that I can like lift up this thing to open up. I can put it all the way, I, sh I, I should not have slammed it like that actually, that, that was actually not a good thing. Um, I can put it all the way down, well after putting in my hood pins, now taking them out, I can just pull it up a little bit. Oh. I kind of have to use two hands, sorry. Pull it up a little bit, grab the latch, and just yank it up. And never have to worry about that cable breaking on me. Having to bust out my grill and get my key and try to press the freaking thing over to the side while I'm on the side of the road and my car's on fire. Or, uh, you know, or uh, whatever. Or um, I have low oil pressure, or, you know, something like that whatever it may be, my car's overheating, smoking, whatever, um, or I just have to get into the hood, or just for my inspection, actually, that's coming up, which I'm really praying that I pass. I have to pick my point that I want to drill from, so I'm going to be drilling through this. Um, there's some area in the bottom that I can hopefully just push through. I'm all for doing things the best way possible. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck. Sorry, y'all are getting late night Johnny now. Late night Johnny's weird. Late night Johnny just that does not does not stop talking. All right, guys, I found the spot right here. This pinch weld or whatever this is, rivet, whatever. It's gonna drill right through this. I know that's gonna make the metal like come apart a little bit, but the bolt that's gonna be there is gonna bring it back together, so it'll be fine. Bolt is gonna barely obstruct the headlight. There's this like divot back here, so it won't obstruct the headlight at all. There's a slight angle forwards on it too, so it matches kind of the angle of the hood a little bit, and it's in a nice flat area. I'm gonna drill through that. Hope that goes well. And then, I guess install it. Been, I guess I, I don't know why I made that so grandiose. I just like I don't even know. I lost I lost my train of thought halfway through that sentence anyway. All right, so I picked my spot. I actually put it right directly next to that hole that that uh, that stud, mainly because I wasn't able to drill through it. Uh, so I put some painters tape up here. We're gonna bring it down. Didn't mean to bring it down that uneven. Okay. Pretty. Really give it a few. Okay. That's where we're touching. Right there. Kind of not a great place, but we're just going to make a hole, so 
not a big deal. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Yo guys, just want to give you a quick update. I got one side here totally finished. You see I put it down, got the key right here, and I put it in lock. Bam. That's all it is. I had to like line it up and all this stuff with with the bottom one when it was in the unlocked position and everything. Little little turn. Oh, we need two hands again. Sorry, sorry. You guys can't clean up. There we go. And she back up. I need a deep 15 16 socket to finish putting that in, but that's good enough for now. So now I gotta do the other side still. I'm not gonna, well, I barely did. I didn't really show you guys that side, but I'm not really gonna show you guys that side. Because I'm trying to get this done. But tonight, the things that need to happen tonight, it's after work the next day, by the way. Um, I need to. Button up more in the trunk, get that tank mounted down, um, clean up the interior a little bit, you know, there's some pieces around and stuff. I don't need to put all the interior trim pieces back in, I can like leave some stuff in the back seat if I want to. I can do that too, I don't really, that stuff's not too pertinent. What we're, what, what we're worried about right now tonight is the inspection passing stuff. That is what is most important. So I need to zip tie the bumper up when I reinstall the bumper after I finish these hood pins. Um, there's a bulb in this one right here. That actually, I have to go change, so I need to take that out and go to the store before they close. I forgot about that actually until right now. Yeah, I mean, if, if not, I'll just have the shop change it, I guess, and I'll pay like 50 bucks for a bolt, but I mean for a bulb. Now, gotta do the, the other hood pin. After I do that hood pin, I'll probably go I'll, I'll probably go check that tail light actually after I do that hood pin. And then after all that, I'm gonna do the exhaust. If I can do anything with the exhaust, hopefully I can. And then that should be it for the inspection passing stuff. So, oh, I, uh, there's one one other thing I gotta do. But I'm not gonna bother you guys by telling you that. So, I'm just, I'm just gonna hurry. I'm just gonna rush. Get everything done. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. After working on this all day since I got home, it's like 10 o'clock, but. I think it's about as ready as, as it's going to be for inspection. The exhaust rattle's still there, I wasn't able to do anything about it. I'm going to put a note and tell them if you get, if you can do something about it that's easy, just to secure it together, please do. If you can't, or if it doesn't, if it passes without worrying about it, then don't worry about it. I really want to put some fuel injector cleaner and some new gas in this thing, so bad. I think it's fuel related is all my issues, wherever all my issues are stemming from. Fuel pumps. Uh, fuel injectors, gas tank, the gas itself, my fuel filter, none of it's been touched. That's the one thing that I'm kind of worried about. But I have a buddy who's going to help me take this to the shop. I'm about to go in a minute. I'm about to see how it drives. I got to put a license plate on too. I might just duct tape that on also and just tell them, hey, can you find some screws for this? I, uh, I tried to fix the tail light thing also. Didn't work. Found a busted bulb. It was this one? Changed it, and I'm pretty sure it works now. But I don't know. I don't know. I still get the light on the dash. Okay. Also, the ABS module is unplugged, and the speedometer doesn't work. Other things I'm worried about. I'm gonna torque down the lugs. Put the BMW center caps on there. I think I have one Bremer craft. Yeah, I have one Bremer craft still on there, but I'm gonna put all the BMW ones on and change that one later. When I change the fender out on that side, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna put it on the highway for the first time also. Really interesting. They'll be telling that this car at high speed, never been at high speed. Also, as far as the diff goes, I just kind of put some undercoating on the bottom of it and hoping that any leaks just won't show. <laughs> I hope this car passes. Backup plan, we just take Johnny D's car. Johnny D is coming with me. Backup plan is we just take his one car down and that's it. But all right, catch you guys later.